And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I usually oh, stay do that. Saturday, here. This is so cool. All right, check it out. Museum and uh, hit the History Museum of Harlem too. Diane would love that. That's a quilt. Oh yeah. Cool car, old wooden car, including the motor and tires. Look at that cool thing. This is how Harlem came to be, incorporated in 1870. Here's a picture of it, how it was with the old mud roads. Well, this is all, this section is all about Harlem, the town of Harlem. Ah, that's cool. Look at those old photos of the schools <sighs> how they were way back when this old car at the inside can you see it <laughs> that's beautiful Check out the old stove. Okay, now we're gonna head over to the Laurel and Hardy section. Look at this old pinball machine. Laurel and Hardy pinball machine. <laughs> These are old Halloween masks. Got some socks. There's a little sign. Harlem became the birthplace of the rotund member of one of Hollywood's greatest comedy teams when Oliver Hardy was born January 18th, 1892. Huh. You can read the rest if you can see it here. That's really interesting. Very cool. Some information on Stan and Ollie marriages and their children. It's very, very cool in here. This is all Laurel's early years. Oh, Laurel was born Arthur Stanley Jefferson on June 16, 1890 in Ulverston, England. Hmm. And there he is, and there's his parents. And there is Hardy, and I'm guessing these are his parents. Oh, he was cute. 
This is all about Oliver Hardy. His name was Norvell. Hmm. Baby picture of him. This is interesting. They, I didn't know this. There's a there's a 1925 version of the Wizard of Oz with Oliver Hardy as the Tin Man. Wow. And this the Munchkins that played in the 1925 version with Oliver Hardy. Yeah. Also played in the 1939. Of, version with Judy Garland. Wow, that's cool. Look at that. There were five Wizard of Oz films that preceded the 1939 version with Judy Garland. All of these were silent films. 1925 version directed by Larry was poorly received by critics and audiences. How cool. Oliver Hardy's experience acting in the 1925 version of Wizard of Oz as Tin Man did not foreshadow his career or define his expertise as a comedian and actor. I didn't realize there was five of them before that. It's the only time all three comedy teams photo taken together. Lum and Abner, Amos and Andy, and Laurel and Hardy. That's neat. Emily Hardy. Dude, let's go watch the movie. They have a little Sandy movie theater in the museum. Sandy died the same year in November. In 1903, his mother moved the Hardy family to Georgia's former capital of Milledgeville so she could manage the Baldwin Hotel. As you can imagine, Norville was constantly bullied and teased about his weight growing up. It is possible that Norville found inspiration after viewing the films of John Bunny the world-famous fat man of the day, and the first comedian of the motion picture era. A friend suggested that he move to Jacksonville, Florida, where some of the films were being made. So Norvell changed his first name to Oliver in honor of his dad and moved to Jacksonville in 1913. His first film was called Outwitting Dad, produced in 1914. In 1917, Hardy moved to Hollywood. As a freelance actor, Hardy worked for several Hollywood studios, including Sunlight Pictures, who released a two-wheel comedy called The Lucky Dog in 1921. In a magical moment captured on film, this was the first time that Oliver Hardy played opposite an English actor who had become his lifelong friend and partner. Hal Roach saw a comic potential between Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy, so he put them together as a double act in their first short called Putting Pants on Philip in 1927. The results are hilarious. So began a long career for the best loved comic duo in American cinema history. Don't be rude. During the course of their career, the duo appeared as a team in 106 films. As the team aged, health problems began to crop up. Well, here's another nice mess you've gotten me into. Oliver Hardy suffered a mild heart attack in May 1954, and he began looking after his health for the first time in his life. He lost more than 150 pounds in a few months, which completely changed his appearance. Unfortunately, his health declined over the next two years, suffering several debilitating strokes. Oliver Norvell Hardy finally died on August 7, 1957, at age 65. We hope you liked the video of Laurel and Hardy's lives, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.